भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर नष्ट भद्रेशु नित्यं भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तमा श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्ठी श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर सेवेंटी एट Entitled The Killing of Dantavakra and Rumaharshana. Text 25 and 26. Rishir Bhagavato Bhutva Shishyo Dhitya Bahu Nicha Seti Hasa Puranani Dharma Shastrani Sarvashaha अदात वृथा पंडित न गुणा भवती स्म नटस्वाजितात्म ऋषेर्भगवत भूवा शिष्योधीत बहूनी च सेतिहासपुरा धर्मशास्त्राणि सर्वशः अदात वृथा वृथा पंडित न गुणा भवती स्म नटस्वाजितात्म ऋषेर्भगवत भूवा शिष्योधीत बहूनी चेतिहासपुरा धर्मशास्त्राणि सर्वशः अदात वृथा वृथा पंडित न गुणा भवती स्म नटस्वाजितात्म शेर्भगवत भूवा शिष्योधीत बहूनी चेतिहासपुरा शास्त्राणि सर्वशः शास्त्राणीसर्वशितात्म ऋषेर्भगवत भूवा शिष्योधीत बहूनी चेतिहासपुरा धर्मशास्त्राणी सर्वशः
ಅದಾಂತಸ್ಯಾಸ್ಯಾಣಿತಮಾಷೇರ್ಭಗವತ ಭೂತ್ ಶಿಷ್ಯೋ ಭೀತ್ಯ ಬಹೂನಿ ಇತಿಹಾಸಪುರಾಣಿ ಧರ್ಮಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಶರ್ವಶ ಅದಾಂತಸ್ಯಾಸ್ಯಾಣಿತಮಾಷೇವಾ ಮಾತಜಿ ಋಷೇರ್ಭಗವತ ಭೂತ್ ಶಿಷ್ಯೋಧೀತ ಬಹೂನಿ ಸೈತಿಹಾಸಪುರಾಣಿ ಧರ್ಮಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಶರ್ವಶ ಅದಾಂತಸ್ಯಾಣಿತ ಋಷೇರ್ಭಗವತ ಭೂತ ಶಿಷ್ಯೋಧೀತ ಬಹೂನಿ ಸೇತಿಹಾಸಪುರಾಣಿ ಧರ್ಮಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಶರ್ವಶ ಅದಾಂತಸ್ಯಾಣಿತಸ್ಯಾಣಿತಮಾಷೇವಾಧಿ ಋಷೇರ್ಭಗವತ ಭೂತ ಶಿಷ್ಯೋಧೀತ ಬಹೂನಿ ಸೇತಿಹಾಸಪುರಾಣಿ ಧರ್ಮಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ ಶರ್ವಶ ಅದಾಂತಸ್ಯಾಸ ಋಷೇಹೇಜ್ಯಾಸದೇವ್ ಭಗವತ ದ ಇನ್ಕಾರ್ನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಭೂತ್ ಬಿಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ಅಧೀತ್ಯ ಸ್ಟಡೀಂಗ್ ಬಹೂನಿ ಮೆನಿ ಚ ಆಂಡ್ ಸ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವಿತ್ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಎಪಿಕ್ ಹಿಸ್ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಪುರಾಣಿ ಆಂಡ್ ಪುರಾಣಸ್ ಧರ್ಮಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಿ the scriptures describing the religious duties of man sarvashah fully adantasya for him who is not self controlled avinitasya not humble vratha vainly pandita a scholarly authority maninah thinking himself na gunaya not leading to good qualities bhavantisma they have become natasya of a stage performer eva like ajita <coughs> unconquered atmanah whose mind 
<clears throat> Although he is a disciple of the divine sage Vyasa and has thoroughly learned many scriptures from him including the law books of religious duties and the epic histories of Puranas and Puranas all this study has not produced good qualities in him rather his study of the scriptures is like an actor's studying his part for he is not self-controlled or humble and vainly presumes himself a scholarly authority though he has failed to conquer his own mind purport one might argue that roma harshana committed an innocent mistake when he failed to recognize lord balaram but such an argument is refuted here by lord balaram's strong criticism <clears throat> ओम ज्ञानतिरांधस्य ज्ञानजनशलाकया चक्षुरोन्मीलित तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतमनोष्ट स्थात भूतले स्वयं रूप कथाम ददाती स्वदाक वंदेहम श्री गुरु श्रीयुता पदकमल श्रीगुरोन् वैष्णवाश्चम सागर जात सह गणरघुनाथन्वी सजीव साइत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधाकृष्णपाद सह गणलिता श्री विशाखान्विता हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछाकलपतर कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम जय श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाध श्री वासदी गौरभक्त हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा लाइक टू वेलकम एवरी वन टू Shri Radha Gopinath Mandir on the auspicious occasion of the appearance day of Lord Balaram, Balaram Jayanti. Today uh, we'll be discussing one statement that Lord Balaram Ji made in the form of a diagnosis. when he on his pilgrimage walked to the forest of nemisharanya where thousands and thousands and thousands of sages had gathered just at the beginning of kali yuga with a sincere and genuine desire for the ultimate and absolute welfare of the humanity at large that's the nature of sadhus prabhupad explains very beautifully the qualities of a sadhu genuine concern for the sufferings of the humanity at large not humanity for the living entities throughout the whole creation simultaneously they are fully convinced 
about what exactly is the root cause and they are convinced about the solution that is a rishi and not only are they concerned not only are they convinced about the solution but also at the risk of great personal inconvenience they extend themselves to remove that and to apply that principle by offering their life as a sacrifice sahasra samamasata they are ready to take a chain of sacrifice meaning they know they are just a single link in the chain 1000 years they decided just like we do akhand harina we know one man person may not be able to continue but we know that the great determination to somebody will continue this with that full conviction they all gathered and they chose romaharshan suta to <clears throat> sit on the vyasasan and speak about the glories of the lord and they they were convinced that he was a suitable personality and then uh, right at that time balaram ji happened to walk into the uh, assembly everyone there knowing who lord balaram is absolutely non different from that supreme personality of godhead stood up folded their palms bowed down to him offered him respect worship and offered him a seat after sitting down balaram ji saw that roma harshan was neither standing up not doing anything either mentally verbally or physically to offer respect to balaram ji the purport says one might argue that roma harshan committed an innocent mistake when he failed to recognize lord balaram sometimes it happen in a big crowd 88000 sages kahin aake koi baitha kya malo who knows or you know probably many excuses but such an argument is refuted here by lord balaram's strong criticism why because we have to know who is lord balaram if you really want to understand balaram it takes one to know one only one who has been blessed by balaram ji can actually glorify the glories of balaram shri lakshmi das kaviraj goswami blessed by lord nityananda to go go to brindavan and everything will be achieved there came there and humbly hearing sitting at the lotus feet of raghunath das goswami on their request with the blessings of radha govind dev and radha madan mohan for their pleasure and for the glory of the lord he started composing the chaitanya charitamrita <clears throat> and so eloquently he has described the glories of balaram he himself says what is eloquence mitam cha saram cha vacho hi vagmita real eloquence means essential truth spoken concisely now who can glorify balaram he is ananta one name of the lord is ananta his glories are ananta his name is ananta his form is ananta his qualities are ananta his past times are ananta but by the mercy of 
the unlimited. Even a limited entity can try to glorify the unlimited and quite successfully do it. So Balaramji, in just, uh, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, in just five verses, has glorified Balaramji in such a wonderful way. In his Mangalacharan prayers, and within that, the first verse is a summary of that five verses. The essence of the essence. So beautifully he says, the identity of Balaram and the, the glory of Balaram, his service. Sankarshana karanato yashai garbho dashai chapayodhishai Sheshascha yasyam shakalasanitya nandakya ramaha sharanam mamastu Not only has he eloquently done it, he has sung it. That's why one aspect of a devotee is kavi. Kavi means not only knowing everything, but to be able to poetically describe. Like Krishna sang the philosophy. They are powerful philosophers, they can't sing. And singers many times don't know philosophy. <laughs> but a devotee by the mercy of the Lord is possessed with all good qualities. And if he wants to glorify, Mukam Karoti Vachala, Krishna can empower him to speak fantastic words in such poetic form. Kavi Daksha Mauni. So, in just one verse, and then the elaboration of that in the next four verses. Sankarshana, the first expansion of Lord Krishna in the spiritual realm, Golok Vrindavan, is Balaram, who is Mula Sankarshan, the original Sankarshan. From him comes Maha Sankarshan. And from him comes the other Purusha avatars, Karnodakshai Vishnu, Garbhodakshai Vishnu, Kshirodakshai Vishnu, and Ananta, who personally expands to serve the Lord in very, very intimate way. So, he glorifies Sankarshan. Maya Tite Vyapi Vaikuntha Loke Purneshwar Yeshi Chatur Vyuhamadhyay Maya Atite, beyond this material creation, Vyapi, the all-pervading Vaikuntha Loke, Paravyoma, the unlimited spiritual world, a tiny portion of which is just this material existence. Vyapi Vaikuntha Loke, Purna Aishwarya Chatur Vyuhamadhyay, this Chatur Vyuhada, quadruple expansion, Vasudev Sankarshan Pradyumna Aniruddha Purnaishwarye Shri Chaturvyuha Madhye Rupam Yasya Udbhati Sankarshanakhyam Tam Shri Nityananda Ramam Prapadye Rupam Yasya Udbhati This beautiful form of Sankarshan The first expansion And what is the purpose of this expansion? Simply to serve the Lord the Lord has unlimited desire. Everything about him is unlimited. You require unlimited resources to fulfill the unlimited desires of the unlimited Lord. Therefore, only he himself can do it. That is his expansion, Sankarshan. From whom actually expands everything else, the both the spiritual and the material world. And then he goes to Mahavishnu. Maya Bharta Janda Sangha Shrayanga Shete Sakshat Karanam Bodhi Madhye Yasya Ikamsha Shri Pumanadi Devas Tam Shri Nityananda Ramam Prapadye This is the first aspect. Then the second aspect is Maya Bharta. First, he is the Lord of Maya. First is Maya Bharta. Aja Anda Sangha, millions of universes, Anga, in whose body millions of universes reside. 
यस्य एक अंश एंड हिज मूल संकर्षण वन टाइनी एक्सपैंशन यस्य एक अंश यस्य एक अंश आदिदेव द ओरिजिनल पुरुष इनकारनेशन विद इन दिस वर्ल्ड जगृहे पौरुषम रूपम भगवान महदादिभि संभूतम षोडश कलाम आदौ लोक सृक्षया इन दि भागवतम सेकेंड कैंटो इन द बिगिनिंग द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द पुरुषावतार आज आर गिवन एंड देर इट इज सेट फर्स्ट आदि पुरुष फ्रॉम होम एवरीथिंग एल्स मैनिफेस्ट द होल मटेरियल क्रिएशन सो ही इज दी एग्रीगेट of all the universes is part of his body and maya bharta is actually complete controller of the material energy then he goes to description of garbhodak shai vishnu then he goes to shirodak shai vishnu that can itself become a class but the reason why i took this is to say in the last verse it says yashyam shamshah paratma khilanam पोष्टा विष्णुर्भाति दुग्धा भिषाई क्षौणी भरता यह कला सोप्यनंत तम सी नित्यानंद राम प्रपद्य यश्याम शाम शाम शह हिज एक्सपैंशन ऑफ हिज एक्सपैंशन ऑफ हिज एक्सपैंशन वन टाइनी पोर्शन ऑफ हिज एक्सपैंशन यश्याम शाम शह शील गर्भोद यश्याम शाम शह परात्मा अखिला नाम He is the super soul sitting in the heart of every living entity. Bharata, Bhokta, Maheshwara, Paramatma, Iti Chaap Yukto, Dehe, Asmin, Purusham, Param. Within the heart of every living entity is seated the Lord. Now, who knows us better than Him? Who can know us better than Him? Even we don't know ourselves. That is why we are in Maya. If you really knew who we are, Jivar Sarup Hoy Krishna Nitya Das, we wouldn't be here. So who can diagnose better what is inside? And he is, his eyes are like X-ray. Through the X-ray, he's just seeing and picking out. Hey, what guy are you? What is inside? Just see. so one may cheat the whole world one may cheat on self but one cheat cheat the lord of all the cheaters he is the greatest he has the final laugh so it, it is that lord balaram ji who has walked in we may not be able to detect but the lord detects he said it within he can smell it what's there and so he is giving a diagnosis so <clears throat> the point that uh, i thought we could discuss through this particular verse is true spiritual life is actually a journey and this is a very very important journey in fact this is the journey that everyone must make the journey towards perfection but this journey is actually within going within recently the prerna festival adana swami maharaj was asked to speak on journey within i was thinking he will speak about the journey within that book and actually he spoke the essence of it and that is going within to the essence so it's a internal journey and generally in this world there is a tendency to uh see judge progress externally that's given more prominence but truly the journey is actually internal 
और डिवोटी वेरी नाइसली सेड भगवत गीता टीचेस हाउ टू लिव दिस इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड भागवतम टीचेस हाउ टू लिव फ्रॉम दिस वर्ल्ड सो द गीता विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ महाभारत इज अ पार्ट ऑफ महाभारत वेर इन धर्मे च अर्थे च कामेश मोक्षे च भरतर्षभ यदि हास्ति तद अन्यत्र यने हास्ति न कुत्रचित व्यासदेव क्लियरली सेस आई एम राइटिंग दिस महाभारत वेर धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष एवरीथिंग आई एम गोइंग टू डिस यदि इह अस्ति तद अन्यत्र इफ यू फाइंड दिस इन महाभारत यू विल फाइंड इट इन एनी अदर धर्मशास्त्र पुराण एटसेट्रा या न इह अस्ति इफ इफ इट्स नॉट देयर इन द महाभारत यू विल नॉट फाइंड इट एनी स्क्रिप्चर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड व्हाट अ स्टेटमेंट व्हाट कॉन्फिडेंस रिगार्डिंग धर्मार्थ काम मोक्ष ऑल दैट यू नीड टू नो इज देयर इन द स्क्रिप्चर all that is there everywhere you can find here and if it is nothing if it is not here you can't find it anywhere thoroughly it has been described and bhagavatam begins with and and bhagavad gita ends with sarva dharman parityaj jabam ekam charanam raja and bhagavatam begins with dharma projyata kaita otra parama so generally when we take up the process of krishna consciousness and study shrimad bhagavatam because it is the highest philosophy there is a tendency to think we are the highest we have the highest that doesn't mean we are right now the on the highest platform just because there is a grasp of the philosophy that doesn't mean we have imbibed the philosophy gyanam vigyana sahitam yaj gyatva moksha se ashubhat the no ashubha thing should exist but it does so many anarthas one time is going through his grace going through was presenting a seminar crossing the mountain of anarthas that was the title so he called up pradhana swami maharaj and said maharaj i am presenting this seminar called crossing the mountain of anarthas and maharaj replied from there on the phone he said tell them when they cross the mountain they will find a big ocean <laughs> it's a fact the day we think we have actually free of anarthas he is so humble that he is proud of it we can become so uh yes bhagavatam describes amazing personalities but then uh that that journey is not external it is a very slow journey it is a quite intense journey therefore rupa goswami says utsahat don't lose your enthusiasm but nischaya have faith that you are on the right track dhairya Have patience. In the Bhagavatam, anyway, we'll we'll. Uh, I would like to just uh, <coughs> proceed from this particular verse. I was reading. We are we are uh, we have started Bhagavatam in my two programs that we are conducting. Uh, both places we have started simad bhagavatam and the second verse itself you know very powerful verse dharma projita kaita votra paramo nirmat sara anam satam vedyam vastava matra vastu shivadam tapatrayon moolanam in this verse vyasdev says atra atra three times he says in this verse dharma projita kaita va atra vedyam vastava atra सद्यो हृदय अवरुद्धते अत्र कृतिभि शुश्रूष अत्र इन दिस स्क्रिप्चर आई हैव गिवन दिस 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 थ्री टाइम्स ही सेस व्हाट हैव आई गिवन वस्तु निर्देश दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्स इज टेलिंग वस्तु निर्देश व्हाट एम आई गोइंग टू आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस प्योर डिवोशनल सर्विस एंड देयरफॉर भागवतम इज नॉट सो इजी टू अडॉप्ट especially 
हैविंग कम फ्रॉम द मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड अनादि कर्म फले पड़ी भवार न वजले बिलियंस ऑफ लाइफ टाइम्स ऑफ कंडीशनिंग डिवोशनल सर्विस इज ट्रांसेंडेंटल बट वी आर नॉट एंड देर फोर इट इज इट इज नॉट सो इजी so there it says what is uh, so one devotee asked in one program they asked so prabhu ji how do we practice it it seems bit impractical in this world so in the chaitanya shikshamrit shila bhakti vinod thakur beautifully gives explains the this particular journey how it actually moves he says externally the follower of the vedas who are in the varanashram and doing all the worship a pious indian who is following all the vedic scriptures and a vaidhi bhakta externally may look practically alike they look alike practically they are also worshiping they are also they are also doing social activities they are doing social activities they are doing their occupational very nicely they are also doing they are also taking responsibility of the family this person also may be doing so what is the difference he says first what is the difference between karma kanda and vaidhi bhakta <clears throat> first is qualification to engage in karma kanda activities the qualification is uh, we have lot of material desires and we are taking shelter of the vedic literature to fulfill yam imam pushpitam vacham pravadanti avipaschitah vedavad rata partha na anyadasti iti vadina vedam they are following the vedas we are the real followers of vedas vedavad rata na anyadasti iti vadina there is nothing but this what we are doing but what is inside kamatmanah swarga para like the yagyik brahmanas their goal is to create a better facility to enjoy in this world that's all how to improve our situation here and next swarga para destination also after this also janma karma phala pradan they don't know a brahma bhuvana loka punaravarti भोगेश्वर्य गति प्रति वाइल द क्वालिफिकेशन फॉर ए डिवोटी और ए वैधि भक्ता इज ही एक्नॉलेज एंड एक्सेप्ट दट आई हैव सो मेनी मेटीरियल डिजायर्स अनलिमिटेड मेटीरियल डिजायर्स समटाइम्स इज आर शेम बट द फैक्ट इज आई हैव लॉट ऑफ डिजायर्स लास्ट एन बी एग्री एवरीथिंग आई हैव simultaneously he does also understand that abrahma bhuna loka what is this material world kamala dala jala jivana talamala chi it's just insignificant it's all temporary how much i i i become attached to this so there is deep repentance in the heart she what am i doing stuck i'm so much stuck in this world he has an amount of detachment also about understanding the nature of the world but the third and most important thing he has faith adav shraddha he has faith in the eternality of the soul he has faith in the eternality of the lord's name form quality past times in the eternality of the spiritual world vastava vastu the whole fifth chapter of adi leela krishnadas kaviraj goswami explains the tatva of balaram nityananda and surprisingly two verses we are studying uh, chaitanya charitamrit with a study group and in that we, we used to read paragraph after paragraph and discuss two paragraphs have 20 to 25 pages per report बोले प्रभु जी पूरा साल भर तो यही परपोर्ट चलेगा एंड यू नो विच आर द टू परपोर्ट्स विच हैव ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव पेजेस परपोर्ट 
फर्स्ट इज चिंतामणि प्रकर सद्म सुकल्प वृक्ष लक्षावृतेशु दुरभीर भी पालयंतम लक्ष्मी सहस्र शत संभ्रम सेव्यम गोविंद मादि पुरुषम तम हम भज डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड देर इज अ वर्ल्ड अप देर विच इज रियली रियल दिस इज फॉल्सली रियल दैट इज रियली रियल देर इज इंडिविजुअलिटी देर इज वेराइटी देर इज एक्टिविटी देर दैट इज रियल एक्टिविटी and the second the longest purport practically in whole of cci field is 25 approximately 25 pages purport to vasudev sankarshan aniruddha pradyumna for expansion of nityananda for expansion of the lord systematically very very logically shila prabhupad dismantles the monistic theory of shankaracharya saying that he had come with a specific purpose on the order of the lord it's not he to be blamed as lord chaitanya told prakashan mr sadi yo das he the lord he has come for exude but if you follow you will go to hell it's not his fault he came with a specific purpose it was an emergency sometimes people you know like a war in a war sometimes there is a bullet injury and he will die in 5 minutes if the bullet is not removed he may die suppose and then he says ko to base camp le jana padega kahan hai 50 km dur hai and very very uh, you know land is very top seater we have to drive a jeep he will die there is no anesthesia here so four people are caught catch hold of his legs catch hold of his head catch hold of his feet and close his eyes and then he takes out a tong that he may use to you know whatever and he puts it inside and plucks out the bullet that's an emergency that is justified like one of our major did in entering the kashmir he tied one fellow on the jeep so that nobody will pelt stones that's an emergency fully justified but if somebody comes with a bullet or some wound something to the hospital just to save money for anesthesia <laughs> you ask that is not a regular feature it's an emergency that was the need of the hour justify so like that said he came with a specific purpose to remove buddhism keshava dhruta buddha sharira jay jay that is okay so he came with a specific purpose and he came to reestablish remove buddhism and establish sanatan dharma that's all but if you follow even now that is nonsense so elaborate purport to establish what the lord is not one he is two in one you see that there are two lords but actually there is no difference but there is eternal difference very difficult to understand there is absolutely no difference between krishna and balaram they are absolutely one and eternally different personalities not two five five in one panchatatvatmakam krishnam bhakta roopa swarupam bhakta avataram bhakta akyam bhamami bhakta shaktikam krishna says in the bhagavad gita janma karma chame divyam evam yoveti tatvatah if you know krishna tatvatah if you want to know krishna tatvatah you have to go to pancha tatva through pancha tatva it is so easy to understand krishna tatvatah because it is one day gurun isha bhaktan isham isha avatarakan tat prakashamscha tat shakti krishna chaitanya sangyakam so it is five but in one so the pancha tatva have come to give a punch to the mayavadis <laughs> you rascals you think we are different no we are one we can break your teeth so the five form a fist the seventh chapter of adi lila is ecstatic kirtan to drown the mayavadi they escaped when lord did kirtan these rascals escaped i'm using the word because prabhupad uses that 
and prabhupad used it because krishna mama am dushta to mudha naradhama what can i do krishna says this i am only repeating jashi aaye tashi <laughs> as it is so the panchatatva have come to defeat this understanding yes they are eternally five but five in one unity in diversity if you really want to preach this philosophy unless we practice it in our life it is impossible for people for people to be convinced in this amazing philosophy very simple but very sublime at the same time unless people see that unity and simultaneously they also see the diversity unity comes when we know the uni unity of purpose unless we go deep in the philosophy to understand as prabhupada writes in the fourth canto of the prachetas they were different individuals with different mindsets different thought processes different desires to serve krishna in different ways but they were united in the interest the purpose so unity comes when there is a depth of understanding of not superficial understanding of purana vi dharma shastra and is deep understanding of the essential principle that everyone is trying to serve. and simultaneously broad minded enough to accommodate all the diversity yes there are there will be different individuals with different natures different conditionings but if they are sincere and wanting to serve in some way how to accommodate without compromising and simultaneously accommodate it's it's not easy unless there is a deep understanding of these truths and to present this one has to have imbibed to some extent at least and when romaharshan was killed balram ji killed him imagine murder on the vyasasan <laughs> extreme extreme i mean like balaram and krishna amazing personalities as ram and lakshman so intimate actually lakshman had no separate existence other than ram's desire thou thy will be done while balaram ji was totally different krishna says um, you know take this arjun you take subhadra and go ah i will kill this arjun and balram had to be pacified so many places contradictory unity in diversity when i see this i you know these two beautiful personalities standing together i remember one shloka of bhagavad gita समोहम सर्वूतेषु न मे द्वेषोस्ति न प्रिय एंड इन द सेम ब्रेथ इन द सेम वर्ड इज ये भजंति तुम आम भक्त मही से तेषु चाप्य हम आई एम टोटली इम पार्शियल आई एम इक्वल टू एवरी वन बट आई एम वेरी पार्शियल टू दोज यू आर सरेंडर हाउ कैन दिस कॉन्ट्रडिक्शन यू नो एक्चुअली आई एम इक्वल टू एवरी वन बट ही इज वेरी डियर टू मी एंड आई एम वेरी डियर टू हिम only krishna can say this and get away <laughs> and only who know krishna's philosophy as we were discussing as it was being discussed in yesterday's bhagavatam class achintya all these apparent contradictions can only be resolved harmoniously in the absolute truth that has a potency that is balaram ji and that is krishna total difference of opinion Vaitan Mahaprabhu wants to kill Jagai Madai. Nitin says, "Don't kill them. Unko deliver karo." Whoever is being killed by Lord Chaitanya, Nitin understands totally contradictory. Deliver them. Why? Because he understands the essence of Lord Chaitanya's heart. And therefore, apparently there is contradiction, but perfect harmony in their ultimate purpose to execute that purpose. anyway so the qualification is this of a devotee he has faith 
in the form of the Lord, the name being non-different from the Lord, the pastimes of the Lord, the qualities of the Lord are all eternal. They are not mundane. They are not material. That variety, real variety exists there. Urdhva Mohla Madhav Shaka. Here variety exists because it exists there in the spiritual world. Both the Karma Kandis or the pious people who are following the Vedic literatures and the Vaidhi Bhaktas, they follow, uh, they maintain their body according to proper Varnashram system. Swadharma, they do responsibilities and their social activities, whatever responsibility they are executing. What is the contrary feature? This is not to be visible, this is not visible externally. This is an internal change of transformation of consciousness. One is, they fulfill, the Karmakandis fulfill material desires by worshipping various devatas. They are convinced, for this you have to go to this person, for this you have to go to this person, this person, for this you have to, this desire you have to go to this person. And therefore they are busy doing all of these things and they think it's all the same. While a devotee of the Lord, service to the Supreme Personality of Godhead alone. Ananya. I would like to read a beautiful purport of Srila Prabhupada just at the beginning of Kunti's prayers. It says, Brahmatejo vinir muktair atma jai saha krishnaya Prayana Bhimukham Krishnam Idamaha Pratha Sati Brahmatejo Vinir Mukta uh, Ashwatthama has released the Brahmastra. Krishna protected them from the Brahmastra. Vinir Mukta. Atma Jai Saha along with her children, five children, Krishnaya along with Draupadi. Prayana Bhimukham Krishnam. Krishna was about to prayana, about to start his journey towards Dwarka. Idam aha pratha sati. Shukadeva Goswami has put the word, used the word sati. And sati is translated by Prabhupada as chaste, devoted to the Lord. And the small paragraph of purport speaks why she is called sati. The translation is, thus saved from the radiation of Brahmastra, Kunti, the chaste devotee of the Lord, and her five sons, Draupadi, addressed Lord Krishna as he started for home. And please listen to the purport. What is the meaning of sati? Chastity? What does it mean? Kunti is described herein as sati or chaste due to her unalloyed devotion to Lord Krishna. Her mind will now be expressed in the following prayers of, for Lord Krishna. What is in your mind is expressed when you speak. You know, sometimes when a person vomits, you can see what he had eaten. But of course, it's not a good example. If you can't digest, it comes out. So this is not a good example. Forget that example. <laughs> After you eat a delightful and very delicious, sumptuous feast, when you belch, somebody standing close to you, Jamun bhi khaya tha, lagta hai. The fragrance comes out. If you go near him also. I think that's a better example. What he has relished, if you are too close to him, you can even you know, get the feel of it. Similarly, what is in the heart of the devotee comes when he speaks. When a, when a loving heart overflows, the few things that spill out is called prayers. Uncontrollably it flows out. That's called as prayers. And Kunti Devi is described as Sati, a chaste, very, very interesting explanation. A chaste devotee of the Lord does not look to others, namely any other living being or demigod, even for deliverance from danger. Vipadaha Santuta That was all along the characteristics of the whole family of Pandavas. Not only Kunti, her sons were also like that. Ananya Bhaktas. 
they knew nothing except krishna and therefore the lord was always ready to help them in all respects and in all circumstances that is the transcendental nature of the lord he reciprocates the dependence of the devotee one should not therefore look for help from imperfect living beings or demigods but one should look for all help from lord krishna who is competent to save his devotee such a chaste devotee also never asks for lord for help but the lord out of his own accord is always ready always anxious to render it maro bi rakho bi jo ichha to har nitya dasa prati tu adhikar like bhakti you know like ambrish maharaj exhibited but very interestingly in the mahabharat when thousands of brahmanas are accompanying yudhishthira maharaj for vanavas yudhishthira maharaj is in tremendous anxiety how to feed these brahmanas he says please go away now i am not a emperor i am completely sold out guy and i am just i have nothing for myself also they said who cares i am we are not coming because you supply what you supply because what you are we feel protected under you because you are a follower of dharma not this rascal duryodhan therefore we will we will survive we will eat some you know whatever is available in the roots and fruits we will eat don't worry but he is in anxiety and that time he approaches dhaumya and dhaumya gives him 100 names of lord uh, surya dev and he said you worship him and you will get akshay patra when i was reading that i was thinking are demigod worship pandavas <laughs> katyayani worship gopis sometimes you know we see that these people are worshiping singh dharmartha kama moksha mahabharat but here toi me ananya vishaya matir madhupate sakrit bhagavatam reveals the heart of the devotee while mahabharat reveals their activities this is how you have to act in the world but, but your heart should be at the lotus feet of krishna sometimes artificially we try to jump on a platform that we are not and therefore we are not able to sustain it in the long run that's why we should read bhagavad gita third and fifth chapter first third chapter is very important for sadhakas like us where we are bewildered and confused like arjun we think in the name of spirituality we want to renounce all material activity krishna chastises arjun he said no this is mithya achara sochate your achara and your vichar are not suiting your vichar is something you are dependent on so many other things and externally you are putting tilak kanthi mala showing that i am totally deep. in fact you are acting as if this is mithya achara that doesn't mean we uh, take shelter of everything like prabhupada was once asked by a devotee prabhupada what do you think about astrology i know i am treading on land mines still please don't ask any questions after this <laughs> you ask some qualified people but prabhupada was asked what do you think about astrology He said actually prabhupada replied so a devotee believes avashya rakshive krishna this is our faith ashli seva padartham finishman this is our faith but if you know it's going to rain why not carry an umbrella no comments no purports <laughs> we may do the needful like recent long year long, long back one devotee approached and said prabhu ji ganpati puja aa raha hai hamare ghar mein ganpati rakha hai hmm. we keep lord ganesh at home to abhi hare krishna mein to sarva dharman paritajya bolte hain what do we do said why are you doing it pehle apne ghar wale bolte hain ek bar tu agar choda na dekh kya hoga ganpati kya karenge tera <laughs> so it is like that it has come in parampara if we stop it we have had it out of fear that is why lord krishna performed govardhan leela if you are trying to do it out of fear that's not a very healthy attitude 
later that devotee understood convinced then he said okay we will do it but now you, you we will use it as a preaching opportunity so they started inviting the whole society and profuse harinam <laughs> five minutes of aarti and profuse harinam and finally mahaprasad is offered to lord ganesh and then distributed yagya shishta asina santo vachante sarvakhi heart of heart we know yadyad vibhuti mat satvam shrimad urjitam eva va tatta deva vagach mama tejah ansha all these powerful personalities where are they getting their source from unless that source is seen and convinced of that fact then we may take shelter knowing that this person can only give shelter mare krishna rakhe ke rakhe krishna mare ke durvas muni went to all these powerful demigods none of them could help because krishna had decided something else for him his will be done that understanding is a very natural and gradual process and that is what shrimati kunti devi is while externally it may appear sometimes we preach also in a very very harsh way criticize and therefore our institution is sometimes criticized you very fanatics it doesn't mean compromise but also meaning to go in understand in depth it just like if phd is the ultimate goal of education close down all the nursery classes close down all the high schools kyu kyunki phd but to come to phd somehow you may have come bahu naam janma na mante by somebody else's mercy but others need to come from different distances you have to accommodate all of them that is why narada chastised vyasdev also jugupsitam dharma krute anushasanam don't justify that as the ultimate you have now you give me give a scripture which tells exclusively what is the true dharma savai pam sam paro dharma and for that dharma sarva dharman parityajya that is allowed and that within the heart within the heart this is the conviction of a devotee <clears throat> so that is the first part the second contrary feature among the karma kanda and the vaidhi bhakta is the the karma kanda is give material respect respect to equally they give respect to anything which is of different matter but a, as we become a devotee of the lord tadiyanam samarchanam anything that is dear to krishna becomes much more respectable especially not just respectable we respect everything knowing it is as krishna's energy but something directly connected with krishna becomes worshipable so attraction exclusively for spiritual objects bhakti vinod thakur says cultivation using place cultivation using time cultivation using matter and society in place dham becomes specially worshipable of all the places earlier we used to worship every place which ever is worth visiting so many visiting spots it gave desire i wish i have not seen this 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 in the whole creation so many places lokas we have not seen but now dham becomes very dear temples of the lord become a a a, a attractive place much attractive than everything else much worshipable and respectable a devotee's house or the place where the great devotees have taken birth and perform their activities becomes very dear to that amongst time every time is respect and worshipable in the outside world but the day of the lord madhava tithi bhakati janani parama adare bhori now ekadashi becomes very respectable time kartik becomes the most respectable month appearance and disappearance days of acharyas and other vaishnav tithis where significant events happened to establish the vaishnava principles 
the defeat of ravana vijayadashmi all those activities the days which represent those truth becomes very and amongst matter all the trees all rare trees were worshipable before now tulsi is very special amongst all matter deity is most worshipable amongst all animals cows become the most worshipable among all mountains govardhan becomes extremely worshipable in society so many festivals earlier we used to give equal priority to all festivals all the that are described in the scriptures they were all respectable but now festivals specially connection with the supreme personality of godhead they become extremely important we celebrate that festival much more than any other festival raising a vaishnav family everyone is raising a family but this is a vaishnav family i must raise them in the best possible way spreading vaishnav dharma that becomes the most important activity most worshipable activity third contrary feature which gradually and naturally should diminish is some type of violence to animals sometimes they would say for this particular you have to sacrifice this particular animal then that particular personality will be pleased and your difficulties will go away but if it is because of a vaishnava has developed compassion and samadarshina ha samadarshi means if somebody pinches me i don't like it i don't like to pinch anyone propad explains one place samadarshina means i don't like something i don't like the same thing to be imposed on something else and therefore becoming super sensitive to not only the physically but even emotionally sensitivity of feelings of others not to give pain to anyone unnecessarily or in an unfavorable way and generally as a karma kandi we respect based on birth whatever it is this person is born in a particular family is worshipable while as a devotee we respect the brahmanas and the vaishnavas based on not their caste or not on their birth but actually on the qualities this is why advaita acharya invited haridas thakur for to give the shraddha patra imagine 500 years ago in a place like shantipur where he was the vaishnava agragani the best of the brahmanas it was like rocking the boat socially creating a havoc and haridas thakur said forget it you afterwards you can feed me we will both eat and we will have nice kirtan mm-hmm. they say i want to show i am not a fool advaita acharya said i am not a fool it's not a question of pleasing the whole world sonushtitasya dharmasya samsiddhir haritoshanam this purpose of this ceremony is to please the lord and i know when the lord is pleased brahmana nam sahasrebhyo satrayaji visheshate satrayaji sahasrebhyo sarva vedanta paraga sarva vedanta vid kotya vishnu bhakta visheshate vaishnava nam sahasrebhyo ekantye ko visheshate he quoted scriptures to justify by feeding you haridas thakur ji i am feeding crores of brahmanas i am also good businessman i know where to invest least deposit maximum benefit why simple what are the root of the tree every part of the tree is nourished yat karo shri dashna shri yajju tat kurushu mad arpanam so advaita acharya showed this principle what is the relation between bhakti and varnashram the purpose of varnashram is we have to maintain our body body needs protection mind needs absorption and cultivation the sense of self needs appreciation respect and self worth varnashram gives that it it helps you to maintain the body it helps us to develop the mind good work for the society is being done and learn spiritual topic and progress but a vaidhi bhakta follows varnashram for the satisfaction of the lord 
वर्णाश्रम आचारवता पुरुषे न पर पुमान विष्णु आराध्यते पंथा न अन्य तत्वोष कारण रामानंद राय टोल दिस महापूर्व अप्रिशिएटेड यस एट वन लेवल दिस इज इट यू हैव अल्टीमेटली यू आर फॉलोइंग दैट वर्णाश्रम बिकॉज यू हैव टू प्लीज द लॉर्ड देन इफ यू डोंट फॉलो वर्णाश्रम निग्रह किम करिष्यति कृष्णा टोल्ड अर्जुन इन द भगवद गीता इन द थर्ड चैप्टर फिफ्थ चैप्टर डोंट ट्राई टू सप्रेस योर नेचर इट्स लाइक ईटिंग प्रोफ्यूजली एंड क्लोजिंग ऑल द डोर्स नेक्स्ट डे मॉर्निंग अरे देर इज इनपुट देर हैज टू बी आउटपुट अदरवाइज इम्बैलेंस वाच वेगम मन वेगम क्रोध वेगम जिहुआ वेगम उधर उपस्थ वेगम Vega means urge, natural urge. So similarly, this world is so much of rajo and tamaguna that urge has to be. Shaknoti hai vayas sodhum prakshari ravi mokshanat kama krodhod bhavam vegam sayukta sasuki nara. We have to restrain it. But like a horse rein, if you pull it too much, it will throw you. If you completely let go, it will take you off track. Like salt. Perfect mixture, not too much, not too less. Yukta ahar viharasya, yukta karma se cheshta sa, yukta sopnasya, yogo bhavati dukha. Na ati ashna tas tu yogo sti, na chay kantam, na ati mat karo, ati bhakti. Sometimes, you know, in the beginning years, we want to do ati bhakti. Enthusiasm, because the mode of passion is there, and it looks like devotion, and because it is very productive. Shows result. So there is a tendency to be, you know, focused toward the result than the pleasure of the Lord and the devotees. So, uh, <clears throat> in bhakti, one follows the rules of the varnashram, but it is not the goal. The goal is dharma sonushtita pumsam. विश्वक्सेन कथासु यह न उत्पादयेद यदिरतिम श्रमये वही केवलम द गोल इज टू प्लीज द लॉर्ड द गोल इज टू डेवलप डिवोशन सो फॉर ए कर्मकांडी वर्णाश्रम इज द गोल एंड एस वर्शिप ऑफ द लॉर्ड इज असिस्टेंट टू हिज ड्यूटी वन ऑफ द ड्यूटी अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग बिफोर गोइंग टू ऑफिस इज थोड़ा पूजा कर दो अट इज असिस्टेंट while for a devotee pleasing the lord is important and because krishna has told follow the varnashram which i have established chaturvarnya maya srishta for your welfare for the welfare of the society for sustainability for sustainability individually and collectively therefore first prabhupad gave pure devotion service and then he said if you want to sustain it in the long term and distribute it establish varnashram that's need of the hour because varnashram is a patra a container and devotion is the essence the nectar but to <clears throat> hold the nectar you need a container without that container you may drink but if you don't have a container long term you can't drink for a long journey you need to have water in which you put the water and also to distribute you need a container so a devotee understands essence is krishna consciousness but to sustain it and to distribute it we need a proper platform and that is varnashram where and what is varnashram very beautifully explained by one very senior devotee he said where everyone feels respected appreciated very simple for their unique contribution everyone feels respected that means all services are worshipable whether it is hanuman like service whether it is squirrel like service whether it is direct devotion service or some are doing indirect devotion service somebody is sweeping somebody is directly serving the lord in the eyes of the lord and in the eyes of the 
leaders of the community that should be the same it, it is the same how is it different because each one is lord ram accepted with same and lord chaitanya accepted kolavecha sridhar's offering and for him it was as pleasing, pleasing and satisfying as group and sanatan goswami's contribution of course objectively speaking it was glorious but in the eyes of the lord that is okay when should varnashram rules be replaced with bhakti under two reasons you can replace gradually varnashram with bhakti whenever varnashram rules are becoming time consuming one south indian person approached me one time in a program so prabhu ji i am very happy i am doing now four rounds of hare krishna mahamantra so very good but i am doing this sahasranam and this panchanam and this ashtaka and this shataka and so all of that i am doing and therefore i am not able to do so now i want to increase what should i do he, because and he showed me his schedule is very busy so i said now because this devotional part is expanding in case the other things you are reducing no problem in fact you should know those rituals because you have performed them genuinely and sincerely those personalities have inspired you to come to krishna now it will expand don't worry so when it becomes too time consuming then gradually devotion can be replaced or varnashram can be replaced with devotional responsibilities not otherwise otherwise it is laziness is laziness all our responsibilities towards the body towards the extension in the form of family towards our occupation towards our other social responsibilities it happens naturally and gradually second thing when it is contradictory like you know some violence to animals or that this as a ritual described in the vedic scriptures that we neglect no no, no don't worry now we have the full understanding <clears throat> eventually varnashram becomes assistant to bhakti and if we do this eventually the remaining activities will be totally different from material activities you are doing the same thing duryodhan is sitting on the chariot shooting arrows killing people arjuna is sitting on the chariot shooting arrows and killing people externally both are doing the self same thing but there is a big difference big difference why the difference is not in the activity the difference is the consciousness now is krishna conscious and therefore even apparently mundane or material activity because it is done with devotion as an offering to the lord even that actually becomes this is the heart of the pandavas this was the heart of kunti devi now her heart is revealed when krishna is departing after winning victory but within that she did whatever was necessary now karma and gyana they are not integral part of bhakti but are helpful that gyana in the beginning which helps you to discriminate between matter asatoma sadgamaya tamasoma jyotirgamaya mrityorma because in the in the beginning we still have we discriminate this is matter and this is spirit and it is very important to do this understanding till we reach a platform when we can see everything as connection to krishna use everything in connection to krishna artificially if we try to do it trying to imitate nityananda lord chaitanya told jadi mor nityananda surabadi jaye tathapi de jane tai nityananda rai even if he goes to a house of prostitution and a liquor where the liquor is sold know that nityananda is going there to preach earlier life narad muni left home and walked without bothering about dualities good days bad days happy days sad days opulent days suffering days terror ridden area blissful areas he didn't discriminate he was just walking 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 
Now Narad Muni, after perfection, he can go to any place and convert it into a spiritual world. But as a son of a maid servant, he, he followed that path. He did not, he, he rose above that duality and walked the path. If we don't follow, Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, if we do not follow the Varnashram rules, those who have not come from Varanashram rules have to be very careful about two things. Number one, more chances of slipping. If already a person is responsibly executing Varanashram, then when he comes, if he is not proud about it, then it is a very wonderful, uh, it's a wonderful uh, container to hold devotion. Because already such a person is pious, following all rules and regulations. For such a person, it's much easier to take up the process of Krishna consciousness and continue also with no chance of falling. Of course, if he becomes proud, he may fall from the highest floor. That's one danger, that's all, for a follower of Varnashram. And the second thing is lack of steadiness. Because the conditioning is so strong, steadiness is very difficult. But if Varnashram is also maintained as a proper, as a, as a platform on which to do devotion, then it is okay. And finally, Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, very, he says, Smartavya satadam vishnur vismartavyo na jatu chit sarve vidhinishe dhyasyuhu eta yoreva kinkara. Keep this principle in mind. Smartavya Remember the Lord always. Pro prescription and prohibition. Never forget the Lord. Keeping this principle, Vyavasayatmika buddhir ekeha kurunandana. Keeping this principle in mind. Every other thing should be made subordinate to this principle. All your rules and regulations. Niyama agraha, niyama agraha. If that, if that, if that, Rule and regulation is favorable, adopt it. If it is unfavorable, reject it. But the principle is this, guiding principle is this. And that Rupa Goswami has very beautifully explained, of all the rules, five are most important. Sadhu Sangha Nama Kirtan Bhagavat Shravan Mathura Vasa Shri Murthira Shraddhaya Sevan Sakala Sadhana Sreshta Ei Panchanga Krishna Prema Janma Eyal Pra e, um, Pachera Alpa Sangha. Very beautiful. He says, Five are uh, Sakala Sadhana Sreshta of all the 64 items of devotional service described by Rupa Goswami in Bhakti Rasamra Sandhu, which is an explanation of Navada Bhakti, performing body through body, mind, and words. Five are most important. Sakala sadhana sreshtha e pancha anga. Krishna prema janmai e panchera alpa sangha. Even a little association with any of these five can give us that devotion, that love. Na utpadaye yadiratim shramaye vahi kevna. Otherwise, all rules and regulations are waste. So, what is that? He said, sadhu sangha. Our life should be organized in one particular lecture. Um, one very senior devotee made a very nice statement. He said, what is life management? What is time management? All your life management, time management is about arranging your life in such a way that your hearing and chanting in the association goes on nicely. So sadhu sangha, nama kirtan, individually, collectively glorifying the Lord, bhagavat shravan, Hearing the philosophy of Bhagavatam, which is pure Vastava Vattu Astra Shivadam Tapatraya Unmulanam, completely plucks out from the root all unwanted things automatically. Vidyate Hridaya Granthi Chidyante Vahau Shrinvatam Sakatha Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana. Prabhupada had full faith in this, in this five verses of Bhagavatam. Shrinvatam Sakatha Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana. How do we know? 
he had full faith in the process of hearing of Srimad Bhagavatam in the association of sincere devotees. Because in the Jaladuta prayer, he writes, I don't know why you have brought me, my Lord, but I have full faith. If they hear Srimad Bhagavatam, and right in the middle of that Bengali poem, he introduces the Sanskrit words, though they are not rhyming, you know, but he introduces them. He said, this is it. I have full faith. Dheera hoya sune jadi kane bar bar. If they only have patience and the enthusiasm, kane bar bar, if they hear Srimad Bhagavatam philosophy, very soon they will be able to. And it's an example. It's the proof of Nityananda's mercy. It is a proof of Balaram's mercy. Prabhupada writes in one purport, very humbly, Nityananda delivered only a couple, Jagai Madai. But by the mercy of Nityananda, his followers, Sak Brahmanda, Tarite, Shakti, Dhare, Jane, Jane. Lord Chaitanya's followers, each one has the power to deliver a universe. Brahmanda, Tarite, Shakti, Dhare, Dhare. One Vasudev Datta was enough to deliver the whole universe. Sabka Pap Mujhe De Do, Sab Log Upar Jaan Do, Mai Sadta Rahunga. What a, what a consciousness. Prabhupada told Bhurijan Prabhu and Jagat Tarini Mataji who were serving halfway away from the world just on the instruction of Prabhupada they were serving in a very very lonely Hong Kong I think. Hong Kong. And there he visited halfway across the planet he traveled just to encourage them. Just to encourage them and visit them and, and he told Burijan Prabhu expressed in one lecture. He said, he said, I have a desire to make the whole universe Krishna conscious. That was Prabhupada. He wanted to make the whole universe Krishna conscious. One family to make Krishna conscious, all our hairs fall away. Still, they don't come to 16 rounds. <laughs> but Prabhupada's desire is, yeah, why is it? Why is it difficult? If you become an instrument of the Lord's compassion, what is, diffi what is difficult? That's what Prabhupada said. What is the difficulty? <laughs> There's a book by that name, by his servants. What is the difficulty? Because if Krishna decides, what is the difficulty? Krishna Das Kavira Goswami says, if Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda want to do something, impossible things become possible. And if their mercy is not there, even the most insignificant things become impossible to do. So a devotee have the, have the faith. Nachao, nachao, Prabhu, nachao, kashtera putali. I mean, it's, you do whatever you want to do with me. But for that you have to remove the ego, which is the resistance force. The resistance to becoming an instrument of compassion is, is the false ego. And in Kali, the greatest disease is this. The greatest disease is the false ego. Actually the only disease. Kali means quarrel and hypocrisy. False ego collectively results in quarrel. False ego in an individual manifests as hypocrisy. You want to show something, you are something. And in a collective group, my way or the highway. Therefore there is a quarrel. And, and opposite of that is to surrender to the authority. Prabhupada writes in one particular purport to in the Narada uh, Vyasa Samvad, unless a person is self-controlled, unless a person is disciplined, and unless a person is obedient, he will not be able to follow the order of the spiritual master. And unless he is able to follow the order of the spiritual master, he cannot achieve the life, perfection of life. Yasya prasadat bhagavat prasadu. Yasya aprasadat nagati kotopi. So self-control, but he's not self-control, that's what he said. Adantasya, avinitasya, 
वृथा पंडित मानिना न गुणाय भवंति स्म एंड दैट गुण टू किल द फॉल्स ईगो फोर थिंग्स आर नेसेसरी एंड महाप्रभु इज ऑलरेडी गिवन इट एक्चुअली शिक्षाष्टकम प्रेयर इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड प्रिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ डिवोशनल सर्विस फ्रॉम आदव श्रद्धा टू प्रेमा द डिस्क्रिप्शन इज फ्रॉम श्रद्धा We have full faith. Param vijayate Sri Krishna. Cheto darpan marjanam bhav mahadavagni. Everything will happen if you have faith in the holy name. The holy name, kali kale nama rupe Krishna avatar. And that's what Lord Nityananda came, begged on the order of the Lord, door to door. Please, please, my dear friends, chant the holy name of the Lord and make your life perfect. Just do this. Gaur bole nitai den sakala samha. I will take care of everything. You just chant. Take shelter of Lord Gaura. So it is a discre- and he says, "Tranada pi suni chen, tarori vasishna, amani na mana de na, kirtaniya sadhar." So so easy. In fact, one of the first verses we learn because this is shortest. But lifetimes project to apply. The process is very ap- simple. Application is difficult. but if you do it nevertheless and keeping this in mind then uh, we have to follow the instruction lord chaitanya gave to raghunath das goswami when he artificially tried to not artificially as a leela he tried to jump into the renounced order prematurely it is for us bhakti unod thakur writes this instruction lord chaitanya gave is for us he said when raghunath das very quickly ran away from home and try what did he say sthira hoya ghare jao nahao batula krame krame pai lok bhav sindhu kula sthira hoya ghare jao you just go home nahao batula don't act like a madman krame krame pai lok bhav sindhu kula gradually kramana kramena you will be able to cross over the material exit markata vairagya na karo loko dikhaiya yatha yogya vishaye bhunjo anasakta hoya markata vairagya na karo don't uh, follow monkey renunciation why loka dikhaiya to show to the whole world no that is mithyachara then what you should yatha yogya vishaya bhunjo anasakta hoya whatever is accept gratification or the sense satisfaction as much as necessary anasakta hoya this is this is real renunciation yukta vairagya anasakta sa vishayam yatharham upayunjatah nirbandha krishna sambandhe yuktam vairagyam uchyate don't artificially act on a platform that you are not and don't let go loose thinking that it is very gradual so anyway <laughs> next time also i can take our uh, radhisham prabhu's sister told him when he joined took the leap he said you can go next life you can do this life you so he said i must have told the same thing previous life also <laughs> she didn't know she was dealing with a iit brain <laughs> so it's a fact but heart of heart one has to understand that this is how we are to hari sambandhi vastu na to we had anasakta se vishayam krishna sambandhe that is allowed just to sustain the senses antare nishtha karo bahye loka vyavahar achirat krishna tumai koribe uddhar antare nishtha karo from within develop your conviction full conviction ananya bhakti toi me ananya vishaya ananya aschintayanto ma antar nishtha karo bahye loka vyavahar externally as they say penny nahi nahi what that penny pounds and yeah man penny pounds and shilling shilling pound penny whatever be like that internally you develop that 
And if we see Mahaprabhu's followers, whether they were extremely renunciates, they did whatever was necessary to serve Lord Chaitanya. Sarup Dhamadar Goswami, he took sannyas only for one purpose, to assist Lord Chaitanya. He was not interested in sannyas, he was not interested in grahastha life. He was interested in serving Lord Chaitanya without distraction. And therefore, he took the principle of sannyas. But he didn't take the externals. He didn't take the externals. Because externals, he was not taking it for name, fame and glory. He was, I want to exclusively, without any deviation, serve the Lord. And Shiva's Thakur, he was staying at home because at his home Lord Chaitanya would come and do the kirtan. Where else should he go? Therefore Lord Chaitanya said, how can I give up the association? How can I give up the association of Shiva's? Such devotees, they are sold out. Lord tells Ambrish, uh, Durvas Muni, the spiritual world becomes dreary void for me without my devotees. The spiritual world becomes a dreary void for me. If devotees leave the spiritual world, Krishna will feel Shunya Itam Jagat Sarvam. Why? Because devotees, their consciousness is Shunya Itam Jagat Sarvam, Govinda Virahin. And therefore, Krishna says, Sunya itam spiritual world sarvam. And therefore, when Radharani, when, when Krishna told, I am going down, Radharani said, We can't live with you. We will go first. And they went, Krishna said, I have to go now. What will I do here without Radharani, without Govardhan, without Yamuna? So, Antare Nishtha Karo Bahi Loka Vyavahar Achirat Krishna Tumayam Kuribe nist udhar. Achirat. Very soon. Very soon Krishna shall deliver you. How soon? Our Madan Mohan Prabhu from Moscow. He is a disciple of Mukund Maharaj. He gave a very nice understanding. You know, every time we read at the end of Chaitanya Leela, we say, anyone who hears this pastime shall very soon attain Krishna Prem. And we all say Hari Bol. We have been hurry bowling for such a long time. <laughs> we have been hearing all this pastime for such a long time. Where is Krishna Prem Maharaj? <laughs> so somebody asked this question to Mukund Maharaj. And Mukund Maharaj answered in such an amazing way. He said, very soon means sooner than you deserve, but longer than you expect. Sooner than you deserve. Otherwise, you rascal, Bahu Nam Janma Nam Ante. Impossible. Forget it. Mukta Nam Apisiddhanam. It is impossible. It is only Mahaprabhu's mercy that he has given a shortcut. Anar Pitacharin Chirat, Samar Paitum, Unnato Jalarasa. Patra Apatra Nadeke, Nadeke Sthanasthan, Jai Jaha Paitaha. Sooner than you deserve. You don't deserve at all. And still, we got it but longer than we expect. Because we have a mundane kind of conception. We have started chanting, three years, four years ho gaya. Why tears are not rolling? It will not. Longer than we expect. Because from a very kind of mundane consciousness or calculation of time, truly speaking, that is not our concern. Actually, one Brahmachari class one Brahmachari asked uh, Janani was Prabhu, Prabhu Prabhuji, uh, when will you get bhava, you know? Because anartha nivrti tata, ruchi tata, bhava. So Janani said, huh? what is bhava? Huh? What, what bhava? That is not your problem. Your concern should be how to serve the mission of the Lord. You leave it to him. He is achyuta, he will fail. He will not fail. He will deliver. His promise, he will never fail. You don't fail to deliver what is expected of you. I'm paraphrasing. But what he said was, don't worry about Bhava. That is awarded. 
That is not, we can't barge into the kingdom of God. That's no, that's not our concern. Actually, a devotee's concern is, Mama Janmani Janmani Shore Bhavata. Please, Krishna, if you see all Mahaprabhu's followers, they ask only one thing. My Lord, put me wherever you want, but give me your remembrance, give me your service, give me the association of your sincere devotees. Even Parikshit Maharaj is asking the same thing. Wherever you put me, no problem. But give me your remembrance. Basically asking for love. Because when you love, you want to serve. When you love, you want to remember. When you love, you want to associate with those who love. He said, please, even if I don't have love, put me in that situation. That the ultimate perfection, the real nectar, the real bliss, that is mm, love of God. Which is what Lord Balaram is actually the authority over and Sevak Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Servitor Godhead. He is giving us the shelter and he is giving us the strength. Balaramji gives us the shelter. What is the shelter he gives? Devotees, I mean people in this world to overcome anxiety are taking shelter of so many things. Isn't it? So many things people take shelter of to relieve their anxiety. Sada samudvigna dhyam asad grahat Prahlad told Hiranyakashipu My dear father, you have everything that a person can aspire for in the whole material creation. You have it. But sada samudvigna dhyam You are in anxiety. Why? Asad grahat You are not taking shelter of Sat, you are taking Asat. And what is Sat? Three things are Sat. The Lord is Sat, the living entity is Sat, and their relationship. Loving service. Bhagavan, Bhakta, and Bhakti. So truly, what Balaramji is coming to give us is the shelter. Take shelter of devotional service to the Lord. He exhibits by his own what kind of service he does for the pleasure of the Lord. This is the shelter. And to come to the shelter, you need strength. You need strength. Nayam atma balahine na labhya. If you don't have strength, you can't come to the shelter because there are so many strengths within and without, so many forces within and without which are pulling us away from taking shelter of the Lord internally and externally. So to come to the shelter we need strength and after coming to stay in that we need strength because there are so many forces within and without which are telling us to go away from that shelter. What to speak of progressing in that process of taking shelter. So to come to the shelter to stay and to progress under that shelter of the Lord, we need strength. And that strength also comes from Balaram. And what is that strength? That strength comes from instruction of Guru. Guru Mukha Padma Vakya Chittyate Koryo Aikya Aharna Koryo Homa. Like one time somebody wrote a letter to Prabhupada, I am having this difficulty, all difficult. You just follow all my orders and I'll kick Maya with my boots. Did it say that? You just follow that. So within that mature and timely guidance that comes in the form of Guru, Sadhu and Shastra that gives us the strength. Maam evaye prapadyante maya me tam tarandite. Maam ekam sharanam Aham to I'll deliver you, don't worry. And that is Balaramji. He is giving us the shelter of devotional service and he is giving us the strength to take up that process. Balaramji kills those demons for which they represent those anarthas which you have to kill by your endeavor. Your endeavor. The Guru is giving instruction. You have to follow. You have to pray for that strength to follow those instructions. And that also comes from Balaramji. He gives that strength. So on this very auspicious day we can pray 
at the lotus feet of balaram ji who has come in a maddened state of ecstasy in the form of lord nityananda to pray uh, for that shelter that we may always remain samashritaye padapallavam plavam at the lotus feet of the lord which is the only nitaira charana satya tahara sevaka nitya but ahankare matto hoya nitai pada pasariya it's just that ego oh i'm so learned i'm so much this and that hey none of this no guna no guna ay bhavantisma this is what is the quality that's all humility so and simplicity simple actually the process is so simple problem is the false ego makes our mind so complicated otherwise the process is so simple you are not the body you are the soul krishna is the supreme lord devotion service is the only way finish इतने साल से 25 साल से सुन रहा हूं आपने चार वाक्य में बोल दिया हाँ यही तो फिलोसफी है संबंध अभिधेय प्रयोजन भगवान संबंध भक्ति अभिधेय है प्रेम प्रयोजन वेदे तीन वस्तु को महाप्रसादे गोविंदे हो गया बस एक्चुअली एक्चुअली इट्स सो सिंपल फोर लाइंस ऑफ फिलोसफी बट टू अप्लाई इट टू एसिमुलेट इट दैट इज ए because we are conditioned since time so on this day we can pray for that shelter of eternal devotional service to the at the lotus feet of the lord and give us that good intelligence and the strength under all circumstances to have the strength to hold on to that shelter at any cost shri balaram ji ki nitai gaur primanandi hari thank you very much hari krishna